Hey, big heads up. If you're extensions hater, go leave now. Go away now. Just leave. Shoo shoo. Bye bye. Right now. You still here? I'm literally watching you now. You're cursed. You'll die alone. N not my bad. You brought this upon yourself, my friend. Mm hmm. I'm opening extensions. And the extension we want is called Windows Thumbnails. I got it enabled already, but before we move on, I want to show you a few things in the settings, okay? First up, we have the thumbnail scale. So this is basically like a screen percentage, okay? That means if we set it to 20%, it's 20% in relation to the screen height. Then it's the position option, where our thumbnail decides to pop up. But since we can move it afterwards and remember its geometry, this option isn't something to stress over. On behavior, we can choose between one and unlimited thumbs, but most of the times you'll need only one. I'll show you in a bit why. For the mouse hover setting, it's a really good idea to set the hide flag. That way, when you hover over the thumbnail, it'll hide itself and make it super easy to interact with the window underneath. Drawback is, it gets a bit trickier if you want to move or resize the thumbnail later, but honestly, most of the time, having it hide is way more convenient. You know how it is, you win some, you lose some, right? But for video purposes, I'll keep that option off so we can see everything clearly, okay? By the way, you can add a little delay before the window vanishes. Everything in this extension is just so well thought out. For example, the next option is to hide the thumbnail if the source window gets focused. Told you, everything is thought out. On controls, that basically keeps a close button on top right, we don't really need that. Anyway, let it be. The default shortcut for creating a thumbnail was Super T, but I already have that binded to Ghosty, so I changed it to Super Y, and Super and Shift Y to close it. Hmm, anything else here? Hmm, no, not really. Let's move on. On double click, you can go to Source Window. When that's on another workspace or another screen, I assume. I don't have dual monitor to try this, but it can be super handy when you monitor stuff and you want to jump right away when something happens. With middle click, we can close it. Um, basically, I'm going to remove this. It just gets in the way without a good enough reason, you know? Mm. With right click, we can activate the window preview. What else? What else? Ah, that's nice. So, with mouse scroll, we can resize the thumb. And, with control and scroll, we can jump through all the open windows, which would be totally sick if it somehow it could also change the window proportions, which it can't. But it is still a very useful feature, I guess. Also useful, with control and click, you can move the source window to the current workspace. And obviously, this works best when you also have the hide thumbnail on source window focus option turned on. It's like everything just flows together so perfectly, right? <laughs> Oh, one more thing. The extension is on version 48, and actually, it has already been updated to work with GNOME 48. It didn't need much of changes, but the maintainer took over the breakage a month before the release. Well, I just thought I should mention that, because it kind of shows dedication. Anywho, guys, let's try this, alright? So, this is a real video of me hugging me. <laughs> And with Super and Y, we can create a thumb, which in overview mode, it turns invisible. And it also disappears when apps are running in full screen. There's actually an option for that, but I think I might have missed showing it earlier. We can move the thumbnail anywhere we want. But, okay, here's the thing. This is what I both like and dislike at the same time. We can resize it with scroll, and with control and scroll, we can switch between windows. But, ugh, damn it. If only it could keep the original geometries, and maybe add a nice transformation effect too. Come on, developer, do it. Just do it. <laughs> anyway, with double click, we travel to source workspace, but with control and double click, or whatever the shortcut is, we could bring source window to us. It's almost like an app switcher with live previews, isn't it? You know what I believe, guys? I believe this thing should have been included in Core Gnome from the start. Like, imagine if a shell maintainer reached out to the extension developer and asked, Hey, do you want to discuss this, design it properly, and push it upstream? That would be so amazing, right? This feature is just too good to stay as an extension. This way, you can virtually gain both a new feature and a new contributor. And most probably, they'll contribute to more things in the future too. That's how most open projects grow, you know? Even if a maintainer isn't super into a specific feature, they always care about bringing in contributors. You know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs>